Hi everyone, my name is Chela Bischoff and you on my page, you probably know me. I'm a holistic health coach and just came back from vacation. We were, hi Liliana, we were camping for about nine days at Thousand Islands, Canada and we had a fabulous time. And then we spent two nights um, on Lake Ontario in New York State, which was also amazing. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. So uh, something crazy happened on the way back. So we're driving home. It was like a five-hour drive. And one of my health coach friends posted that he's starting a water fast. And I've never done a water fast before. And my intuition was, you need to do this. And uh, I don't recommend this to people to do it this way, not preparing, but I ate pretty well during my vacation and I exercised a lot, I slept well, so I felt this was something that I could do. So I ate my last meal and I didn't eat a lot on Saturday because we were driving anyway. So, hi Chris. So I was driving home and he posted on Facebook that he's going to do a fast who wants to join a water fast. And so I said, I'm in. Interestingly, when I talked to him yesterday evening, he said both him and his friend opted out at the end. So I did it on my own. And uh, I went to bed on uh, what day that was. We came back on Saturday. So I went to, back, went to bed at 8 p.m. Now actually, I stopped eating at 8 p.m. I just had some cherries. And then I went to bed and the next morning, basically Sunday all day and today I was just drinking water. A lot of water, you know, some filtered water, spring water, and I also got some distilled water. And I was putting back um, into the distilled water Himalayan pink salt. So I had absolutely nothing else. And I have done intermittent fasting um, a lot. I don't know if you guys know about intermittent fasting. Um, I was not able to do something like that years before when I, I used to suffer with hypoglycemia. But, you know, I worked a lot on my health, so intermittent fasting is something I'm very familiar with it. With, with it, with it. So intermittent fasting is something, it's, it's pretty easy, and what you do is, let's say you have your dinner at 6 p.m., and then uh, you go to bed, you don't eat anything after that, and you don't eat um, till about 11 or 12, p 12 11 a.m. next day or 12 noon. That is called intermittent fasting, and there are a lot of health benefits um, that comes with that. So that's something I've done, sometimes not on purpose, um, and I lately go a lot by intuition, you know, how I eat and what I eat. And um, so I did pretty well on Sunday, but around three o'clock, I got really, really hungry. I was telling my husband, Stephen, that I either need to take a nap or I have to stop. <laughs> and he said, don't take a nap. You have a lot to do, which I should have listened to my intuition and taken a nap. But anyway, I actually had to go food shopping and that was very, very difficult. I went with Sophia. And uh, I told her, listen, you need to help me. Uh, I d can't look at food. When I entered the store and I saw people at the register, the first thought came to me, oh my gosh, I just want to eat something. I want to eat food. I don't care if it's just fruit or something good. It, it can be very simple, but I want to eat. So don't go food shopping when you're doing a fasting. You should actually be resting and, and staying home. Uh, but we did the shopping. We just got some basic stuff because we had nothing in the fridge. And I was thinking, what am I going to do when I break the fast? So I got some things for that. And I want to show you in a minute what it is that I'm going to take tonight if I do break it and what I'm going to have tomorrow. So after the food shopping, we came home and um, I kept drinking the water. And when at one point my belly was aching, so I went into child pose. That's a yoga pose that helped me a lot. And um, it's good to... Um, just you know power through it so I drank a lot of water and I um, kept myself busy it's the thoughts you know the thoughts keep coming to you the hunger pain was there only maybe three times then I thought okay that's it um, at night I was very very hungry I looked into the fridge and I cleaned my fridge and I had all the fresh fruits and the organic fruits and vegetables and I was like I'm dying to have some grapes and it would be so easy, but if I've come this long, I'm not going to do it. 
So I got up in the morning and it was very interesting because I had my water, I started my day and I felt fine. And then I had a very long um, call with a friend of mine um, strategizing and it was like oh, two hours and I kept drinking the water and running to the bathroom and um, because my mind was like really focused on um, you know whatever we were uh, discussing I was not hungry at all and when I finished I thought I was gonna go eat and my body was no you can continue and actually I feel I almost feel like when you know when you eat like a really good chocolate and you get pumped up and you're happy and you have energy that's the kind of feeling I have right now so let me get um, to the point so I'm going to flip this around and show you what I'm choosing to break the fast this evening if I go till 8 p.m. Uh, that's going to be two full days okay so I'm going to break the fast with a watermelon that I'm going to put into the blender. One thing that is really interesting and kind of upsetting is that this is an organic um, watermelon and there are no seeds. I mean, look at that. Where are the black seeds? They non-existent. So they didn't have anything else at my, at my store, so I ended up buying that. But if you're buying watermelon, here's a tip for you. Get watermelon with the black seeds. That is how nature intended these beautiful fruits um, to be existing. Don't buy seedless grapes. Nobody wants to be seedless, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of um, Himalayan pink salt because this has 84 different minerals in it. This is something that I highly recommend, either Celtic sea salt or pink Himalayan salt, tons of minerals. Ditch the other salts that you use and cook with. Uh, they not good for you, but this is very good so um, that's gonna be my plan and I'm also making something for tomorrow because I'm gonna start going back to work and seeing clients and working and I'm starting a cleanse um, people are waiting for the material to be sent out I already posted it in our Facebook group because this week is an amazing week to do a fast a cleanse the ne next upcoming days and I fill you in on that in a few minutes so what do you think I'm going to be making with these ingredients? Can you see them all? What am I going to be making? There's leeks are missing because I couldn't find any leeks. So this is a wonderful recipe. It is not my recipe. It's pretty famous. It's called Magical Mineral Broth. It's from a woman named Rebecca Katz who works with a lot of um, cancer um, patients. And this soup is just phenomenal to replenish your minerals in your body. Celery is full of sodium and potassium. I couldn't find one that had more leaves, but because you want to use both the stalk and the top to get the potassium and the sodium. Carrots, and as you see, I just scrubbed them. You don't need to peel organic carrots. The nutrients are in the peel. So have some organic parsley, amazing diuretic, great for kidney health. We have red potatoes, organic, you just scrub them, you don't peel them. And we have organic sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to put a little bit of ginger in there, not, not all this, just a, a small piece of it. Organic garlic, and you want to buy organic garlic at all times. You don't know where the other garlic comes from. If it comes from from China, you want to avoid that. We have some organic um, red uh, onion that I'm going to help. And when I put it in the soup, I keep the skin on. I'm just gonna wash it and keep the skin on because the skin gives that beautiful golden color. And then I'm going to use, what do you guys think this is? This is kombu. Kombu is phenomenal full of minerals it is a seaweed and you just plop it in the soup that you make and at the end it gets really big maybe I show you the video when I'm done and you take that out but all the minerals and the iodine will go into your soup and then I'm gonna have two bay leaves and I'm also going to add some peppercorns so this is going to be uh, my magic mineral broth and let me come back to you so the lighting is best here so that's what I'm going to be cooking up tonight. I'm actually making um, roasted chicken for my family with um, 
baked potatoes, cooked carrots, and I'm gonna make a salad. And that's a hard part because I'm smelling all these good things, but I can't eat it. So it's usually up here. Uh, but I'm looking forward to my watermelon drink. So the Magical Mineral Broth is one of the recipes that I have on my upcoming summer cleanse, which begins next Monday. But if you need to start it this week or do it later, that's not a problem. And I would like to invite you to consider joining it. If you, uh, who is this cleanse for? First of all, it is a food-based cleanse if you've never done a cleanse with me before. So we get to eat. It's not a juice cleanse. It's not a water cleanse. You get to eat really delicious food. It's going to include um, smoothies, juices, if you have a juicer, but you don't need to have a juicer. It's going to include herbal teas. Um, we're gonna make, be making smoothies, herbal teas. You get to have um, salads. And the meal is gonna really just contain fruits and vegetables. There is an option to uh, have some brown rice and quinoa if you want to. And if you really need to support your blood sugar, some wild salmon, but it's essentially a vegan cleanse. And this week is the week when we kind of decrease the caffeine, the wine, the alcohol, the sugar, the gluten, the wheat, the soy, the corn, and all the processed foods and the dairy. And then we begin on Monday. And this cleanse is fully supported, meaning you have 100% of my support through a Facebook group that's private, so only the cleanse members are in it. And I'm also doing a kickoff class on Thursday evening at 7.30, which will be recorded. And um, if all goes well, I'm going to do a Zoom call, which means you get to see me, and I will be showing um, certain products that you might need for the cleanse, like, you know, flax seeds, ham seeds, um, you know, the combo, things that you might not be familiar with. So that is the plan and you get all the recipes. There's like 34 pages of recipes and you get a suggested menu plan. That means that when you go into the recipe booklet, you will see this is the suggested menu plan. Day one for breakfast, you know, you're gonna have this, lunch, dinner and snacks. But you don't have to stick to this if you want to eat um, differently or if you want to repeat certain meals because you have a busy job and you don't want to be um, spending too much time in the kitchen, you can just prep a bunch of things on Sunday and have, you know, make more and have leftovers. So that's the gist of it. I love this soup. Yes, Diana. Um, this soup is wonderful. You know, a lot of people do bone broth, but bone broth is not for everyone, and um, more and more people are turning into plant-based uh, dishes. So mineral broth is wonderful. And, and I'm gonna share something interesting with you guys. One, uh, just remembered it. Uh, one of my um, friends who has done a few of my cleanses told me that uh, one time, I think it was a fall, or a, I think it was a winter cleanse, yes. So the winter cleanse, um, uh, the winter cleanse had the bone broth in it because it's a different season, right? So um, they made the bone broth and it worked wonderful. I forgot who it was, husband and wife did it together. So the bone broth worked wonderful for one partner and the mineral broth, the magical plant-based mineral broth worked wonderful for the other person. Let's say the wife did well with the mineral broth and the husband did well with the um, uh, bone broth. And he started to feel so well that after the cleanse was done, weeks went by, I found out that he had to make that soup, a big batch of it, every single Sunday because he had to have like a glass of that every day. He lost weight, his inflammation went down, it was just phenomenal. So I highly encourage you guys to check um, the information out, out about my cleanse. It's uh, shininghealth.com forward slash summer dash cleanse and I will put the link below this so you can look it up and if it's not the right time for you or this is not something that you're ready to do you can do a bunch of little things um, to cleanse your body to uh, give your digestion a rest because all these fasts and cleanses and detoxes their main reason is to give our digestive system a huge rest because I don't know if you know this, but digestion takes a tremendous amount of energy. 
And the reason why I feel so energetic today and so good and have clear mind is because my body was not bogged down. My digestive system was not bogged down, working hard, you know, digesting all that food. And I eat relatively clean <coughs> because I'm a health coach. I have to walk my talk, right? But often maybe I eat uh, food combinations that are not the best together or I eat something that I really want, like mozzarella cheese, but it doesn't do well with my body. And then I always pay the price for it. So I highly recommend you try something, even if you just, let's say, commit to, I don't know why I have to drink water. Hold on, guys. So actually, I started to reintroduce things by drinking lemon water. So this is lemon water with a little bit of pink salt. I've been drinking this in the afternoon today. Sorry about that. So where was I? So if you just commit to eating very clean for two or three days, and if you want to do that, I do have a free three-day cleanse that I will post below this video, or you can go on my website. Actually, I will post the link below this because that cleanse, it's just three days eating salads, have a smoothie, make a small uh, uh, um, light soup, and I think there's a salmon dish in there. That alone, people, when they did that, told me, helped them tremendously to decrease the inflammation. So you can just commit to two or three days of eating very clean. You can commit to maybe one day of doing uh, vegetable juices and maybe a salad with some seeds. The one advice that I have for you, if you are eating the standard American diet or you eat processed foods or you eat out a lot, you don't know what kind of oils, you know, they fats they use in those meals, is not to jump into something drastic like a water cleanse, even a juice cleanse, because you're going to pay the price and you can mess things up. So you always want to prep and ease into things. So with my group, my cleanse group, um, we're starting that easing into the cleanse this week. So basically you get to spend almost three weeks with me. We ease into the cleanse this week, we do the cleanse next week, and then the week after is crucial. You can't just jump in. Like, I can't just go and eat what I made for my family tonight because I'm going to pay a huge price. So, I'm not going to go on anymore because long Facebook videos get really boring. Thank you, everyone. Hi, Lorene, Karen, Stephen, Sharon, Sabina. So great to see you here. Hi, everyone. I love these little Facebook lives. I get to see um, a bunch of lovely people tune in. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and um, hope you got some good information and maybe you get to make the min magical mineral broth too. I will put the recipe on my blog and post the link too. Bye everyone. Actually, I'm going to put it in my Meatless Monday recipe. So this will be posted too. Bye.